you have he has 12 sons right. joseph right. and okay. then judaism come from that one of the sons right. and from that tribe is judah right now so the if Dodgy you man? reflect Sorry. now <laughs> then you Sorry. can Sorry. see that judaism was after abraham right. not, okay so, so the origination of Judaism is not before Abraham, after Abraham. Right, right. So the Allah is talking about that where Torah and Gospel were not revealed after him, then will you not reason? Then it's asking a question that do you not think about that? How come Abraham was not a Jew? How come Abraham was not a Christian? Who was an Abraham then? Who really Abraham is? Then Allah is saying, here you are, those who have argued about which you have some knowledge, but why do you argue about which you have no knowledge? Meaning Allah is talking about Abraham, that you don't have knowledge about what was the Abraham's belief. And Allah knows while you know not. And Allah is telling them, look, I know and you don't know. Of course, we, no one can deny that. God knows and we don't know. Right. Now the finally concluding, Allah saying, مَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ يَهُودِيًا وَلَا نَسْرَانِيًا Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was one inclining towards truth, a Muslim submitting to Allah, and he was not of the polytheist. So Abraham is not someone who is promoting polytheism, but rather he was someone who is monotheistic. He was, even he is condemning his father for making a statue and worshipping it. Why he is condemning this? Because he knows that that statue cannot be God. Yeah. The same principle applied to all the religion that you cannot take an intermediary with God. Yeah, of course. God cannot be equated with any things that object, objectful like, for example, uh, God cannot be co-equal to a man. God cannot be co-equal to a cow, snake or donkey or anything that we see and observe in our reality. So essentially it tells us that there is only one God. Yeah. And you cannot make any partner with that God. Yeah. Therefore, you cannot worship those objects. Right. So therefore, the same logic applies to Jesus Christ here. Right. So what we say is Jesus Christ is not part of God, but he was someone sent by God. I believe that too. So I, you, I mean, it's also a belief of mine. Yeah, I mean, if you believe that, your belief is already a Muslim. Why not accept it? <laughs> Would you like to accept it? Me? No, yeah. no I don't. But... I appreciate but if, but if, 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 if you feel the check, check I would love to I would love to I, I mm. would I would 100% learn more mm. about it yeah I'm gonna give you the six article of faith yeah, 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 yeah. so that you know what we believe in so yeah. Islam is as a Muslim we believe in there is only one God yeah. I've, I've demonstrated to you then we believe the angels you know the Holy Spirit you guys say he's a part of God we say he's the creation of God and they never disobey God right so they are always listening to the command of God. I would believe God. that too. Exactly. Yeah, I believe that And too. then God sent messengers so that people can worship God. Right. And so therefore, messenger came with books. Right. Outlining what to do. Telling us the lawful and prohibition. Otherwise, how do we know what is right and what is wrong? What is allowable and what is not allowable? Yeah, yeah. And then... We believe in the day of judgment, meaning that every soul will be accountable for their own affairs. So I'm not dying for your sin. Mm. You are not dying for my sin. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Allah will make uh, accountable every one single soul. Even so much so that atom amount of good deed will not be hidden. And atom amount of sin will not be hidden. Right. Meaning God is clearly aware what you are doing. Okay. And God is instructing angels to record everything. Okay. And God is fully aware of all the situation. Right. So therefore, He can, He will be the best judge. And Allah said, "Alaysa Allahu bi Am I not the uh, uh, the perfect judge? A perfect judge is someone who knows everything, who hears everything, who controls everything, who records everything. Right. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, He knows everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. And we we spoke about it before. Now. On that note, we say that he is the perfect position to judge anyone. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we say Allah is the judge. Right. And that day of judgment, he will make absolute justice. Yeah. Also, he will have some forgiveness and he will bestow his mercy whom he wills. Yeah. Based on the deeds and belief that people had. So he will do absolute justice. And even those who will enter in the hellfire, they will even confirm that God made the 
the correct justice. Right. And then the final belief is we believe the predestiny, meaning God is aware and know about everything in our surrounding. Everything will happen. He knows good and bad, why this is happening, everything. Right. Otherwise, you would say, oh, what kind of God is he? He doesn't know the future, right? So this is the concept of God. Yeah. Sorry, concept of belief in Islam. How does that sound? Sounds not far from what I believe. So, I mean, that means in a belief wise, you are more inclining to a Muslim than a Christian. I don't know why you label yourself you're, as a Christian. You're saying that with no context to what I believe. Yeah. When you say, when I say the six article of faith, I mean, where, where asked, do you differ? Have you asked me what I believe? Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't. You, you have actually. Yeah, I, I have. I have. You yeah. have. No, you Off have. the camera, but. But everything that you're actually saying to me, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I do believe there are definitely scriptural differences that may be included in there. Mm -hmm. But I have full. How do I say this? Full conviction. No, no, I don't have full conviction. No. I, I okay. think that's the beauty of being human, is that you don't have full conviction. Is that we have to operate a little bit by faith. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of things that I don't know. No, I mean... I don't know if I'm going to be alive tomorrow. Yeah, so, for example, that's, there that's are... the nature of the life we live. Beautiful, right? beautiful things you said. So, it's called Yaqeen, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? So, there are some type of Yaqeen meaning... The trust, uh, yakin. I don't know what's exactly the word of yakin. What's the English word? Faith. Yakin means faith. Yeah. So, uh, not really faith. Like um, you will. F okay, I think. So there are some things we see through our eyes. It's called ayn al yakin. Yeah. Meaning, after see you believe. There is another belief is ilm al yakin, which is the belief based on knowledge. Right. And another thing is called haq al yakin. Belief based on reasoning. Yeah. Now, when I talked about you, you have all three. The only thing is bothering you, my understanding, please correct me if I'm wrong, is that you take the scriptural understanding to look into God and His oneness and His divine attributes. Correct? I see Allah. Because I don't want to misquote you. Yeah, no, no. I see Allah as the same man that I worship yeah. as in God. Yeah. I see. Because of what you've just said to me, yeah. I hear a lot of justice, mm -hmm. okay? Like, I mean, we are accountable. Yes, correct. Which I 100% agree. I'm glad that you, you agreed, you know, this proposition. But, <laughs> but okay, I, I'd like to hear your caveat, part. okay? Caveat is this, that Jesus Christ offers the, the mercy, hmm. right? And he doesn't represent God as the God. God is the only God. Correct. But Christ is the way back to God. Right. And He is the pathway that was created so that we could have a little bit of justice and also receive mercy. Do you know what? Right. What you say, I absolutely agree. Yeah, yeah. Because Jesus Christ is the pathway to God for those who are in the time of Jesus Christ. Meaning, Jesus Christ, if you follow Jesus Christ's path, you will reach to God. So, so the Jesus what about when, when, sorry, I, yeah. uh, so that Jesus Christ is the pathway to God yeah. in the time of Jesus Christ. Right. Now God sent another messenger and he is the pathway to God. Right. Now, what does it mean? Does it mean that pathway is to worship the messenger or worship the one where it leads to the destination? What we are talking about is this pathway will lead you to the destination. Right. We should worship the destination, not the pathway. Now, I'll, I'll ask you this question then. If you told me that so, in that direction, if yeah. you told me in direct direction was Buckingham Palace, okay? Yeah, yeah. And the king was there. Yeah. And you said to me, I'll walk you there. Yeah. I know the way. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'll follow yeah. you. Mm -hmm. But I want to see the king. Yeah. And I want to give my respect to the king. Yeah. So basically. But I also have just, you've just told me that you know the way. Yeah. So I'm willing to follow you. Yeah. Right? And so to me that's what Christ is, is he is offered a way. Yeah. And so, I I follow in that direction because yeah. that is the way I've been taught. Arguably, like that like that's number one. It's like yes, i I was taught that way. Right. So I mean I have a bias I hear what because you're saying, I was yeah. raised that way, right? Yeah, I hear you what you're saying. And it also doesn't mean for me that whatever you believe, I actually see to be incorrect or wrong. I, 
I'm, I'm very much curious because I'm curious that we live in a world where there's three predominant religions. If you're talking about, if you're talking about a monolithic, um, monolithic God, there's three three religions, yeah. right? They all seem to contradict each other, right? They are, and that's why that's why they they three cannot be truth at the same time. No, 100%. I, I, either, right? And that shows there cannot be truth. So, for example, when we talk about Jesus Christ, I'm going back to. So Jesus Christ shows the way how to worship God, but he never said, I am the God and worship you. So this is the fundamental difference. So <clears throat> following someone does not mean we should worship that person. So like, for example, in the Quran, Allah said, follow my messenger. Follow my messenger. Does it mean that we should worship Muhammad? No. no. We should follow the methodology, the education that Muhammad brings peace be upon him so that we can worship God the same way when Jesus Christ received the message he told people how to worship God now what people did instead of worshiping the God they start worshiping Jesus Christ this is what the fundamental difference between Islam and the Christianity where we worship the creator not the the, the source the intermediary can I, like, this is a, does it make sense no it does can I ask you like a, a doctrine question yeah right? sure do Muslims um, sacrifice the firstborn or do they sacrifice lamb yeah but our sacrifice is not for the salvation yeah, yeah. Allah said uh, right. so when we slaughter animal right. this is to sacrifice right this is to sacrifice for Allah so that you know we can get uh, taqwa the God consciousness right. it does not mean that someone is taking away sin right. I'm using uh, as a lamb to take over my sin. Right, no, right. that's not the concept in our Islam. Right. Islamic concept is sacrifice is to see whether God can you do sacrifice? Can you do animal sacrifice? Can you do sacrifice from your money? Because you need to spend money to buy an animal, right? right. So Allah wanted to see your faith. sincerity and faith because otherwise if there is no practicality of the religion then someone would say look I believe in it it would be a just lip service. Right. How do God know that? You know, how do God uh, uh, distinguish between the you good know, ones and I, the bad ones? Like, could I just put the, the point forward? Does it make that, sense? No, it does make sense. Yeah. But for me, that ritual has so much more significance than what you're, what you're telling me. Like, we're talking pre-Christ, right? Yeah, pre-Christ. The sacrifice of the firstborn, right? The sacrifice of the firstborn obviously had a representation. Yeah. In Christianity, the, the representation yeah. was the firstborn being Christ, right? Mm -hmm. The Son of God. That's Old Testament. And he, no, and, but uh, and I mean, if you look at the early story, when Abraham was instructed by God to sacrifice Ishmael. By yeah. the way, Ishmael was the firstborn. Right. Ishmael was, God instructed uh, to be uh, sacrificed by Ishmael. Yeah. So when God realized that Ad uh, Abraham is so devoted to God, he's going to sacrifice his son. Right. Then God replaced with a lamb. Right. Why? Because God has tested what yeah. in Abraham, whether, why, but, why, why Abraham is so but honored. I just, I also think there's like, there's significance there that is maybe being undermined. No, no like, I, I, I like totally... as, as a representation of the, the firstborn Christ, right? Like, no, like, like when what you say, was the necessity when you say of... firstborn, firstborn is Adam. Right. Okay. So here we significantly. So Allah said in in chapter was he four, born now? Yeah, Allah, born meaning created basically. But yeah, but that's yeah. two different things. No, I mean, I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, let's put everything in the creation. Let's say if we say creation, right? Apart from God, everything is creation. Right. Meaning everything is temporal and everything comes into an existence in certain point of time. Right. And God is existed all the time. Therefore, we can distinguish between who God and the creation is. Right. right? Now, Adam is created by God. Eve was created by God. Jesus Christ was created by God and everything else in the universe was created by God. What was the world that Adam lived in pre-Eve partaking of the apple? Do you, do you believe in that story? So, so we have, we, yes, we do believe in those stories, but our story is slightly different. So first right. of all, we believe that Shaitan whispered, the, the devil whispered into the air of Eve and Adam right. and they fall into the trap of Satan, the devil, right. and out of forgetfulness, they eat the fruit. Right. But we don't blame Eve. No. In, in Islam, but in Christianity, Adam was blamed. Eve Sorry, Eve was blamed. But in, in Islam, we don't blame Eve. And we believe that both of them eaten the fruit right. out of forgetfulness. And then when their nakedness appeared, then they 
c try to cover with, with the leaves of the heavens. Then they realized the mistake. What did they do? They straight away go back to the repentance mode. Ask God. No, no, let me finish. Ask God to forgive. Yeah. Now God has forgiven them. So now account is closed now. Now just because of that disobedience, sin will not be transferred. Because the sin has been done, the forgiveness has been done. Meaning plus minus zero. Now. Your question. Does it make sense? No, it does make sense. I have a lot of questions because I have a lot of knowledge yeah, sure, behind this part. Sure, sure, sure. So, and and the, the, I guess the teaching that I was taught growing up. Yeah. Eve partook of the fruit. Now, in the garden, there were two things that were told told of it, right? One was, don't partake of the fruit. Okay. And the other was, go forth and replenish, multiply and replenish. Okay. Have children. Which ironically was a contradictory thing that God was asking them to do. Because in that state, the state of childlike mind, they couldn't achieve one without the without disobeying the other. Right? And But that story not in Islam by the way, anyway. Okay. Well I mean this is a this is the Christian context. Why, this, this, I mean, is, this is why in particular this is why Christian concept of the creation mm -hmm. makes a lot of confusion and contradiction. But Islamic concept is very easy and very uh, I don't say simple. Well, but it's, it's very from easy to add. It's not me, a contradiction. Right, from there. what I just told it's you, not contradiction. explain the contradiction. So, for example, like if you say that Adam eaten the fruit, right? Well, he did first. Eat, yeah. Okay. So, they both done that, yeah? Right. So, in, in, in Christianity, there is a concept called original sin. Are you familiar with that? Yeah. yeah. What is that original sin? That if you eat the fruit, you inherit the sin. Right. Now, in Islam, we do not call this an inherited sin. So, now what is the consequence? Through the consequence of original sin, every children of in the world, based on Christian understanding, is a sinner. Right. Every. My point. No, hundred percent. But this. Let is, me hold it. You're, come, come. Sorry. Oh, sorry um, yeah. You're, you're. Yeah. You're saying the contradiction without actually acknowledging the full story. No, I am acknowledging. Because but you have to use the context of Christianity sure, to, sure, to, sure. to sure. explain this, okay? Because sure. otherwise you're saying, okay, within this belief, uh -huh. if you use this, there's a contradiction, but also within this belief, there's a contradiction. So, this is where the beautiful story comes in, okay? And go I, ahead, go I, ahead. I genuinely believe it's go beautiful. Ahead. Sorry, come. I need to cover my camera. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, okay. I believe it's beautiful, but you could also say it's not true. And you could also say it's... While well, it's made up, okay? no, but, but, but I'll explain the, sure, the, the beauty ahead. of the cycle. Okay, mm -hmm. man, man is told, Adam is told not to partake of the fruit. Okay, Eve decides. Okay, no, look, no, Eve, Eve tempted Adam. Eve tempted, right? Eve tempted, but she understood something. She understood something. What she understood is that we cannot multiply and replenish without knowledge. The apple was knowledge, but it's also. The ability to be cut off from God, okay? So hence, the first sin, we are now cut off. Adam and Eve enter the world. They multiply, they replenish. In sin, children are born into sin. But, to add the context of where the beauty comes in, was the necessity for Christ. Christ was the only option for that line to return. And that is the... That is the beauty of that sacrifice, is saying, okay, look, yes, you guys were supposed to leave the garden. And yes, you were going to fall into sin. But I have made a way for you to return. And that is the son. That is my son. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. I, I see it's your, not, a, it's no, not a contradiction, no, no, this is, but it's beautiful. But no, it no, may no, not, no, but also no, might no, not be... No, I think if you evaluate it, then you will see the contradiction. Okay. I'm saying if you derive your theology based on the story, first yeah. of all, we cannot, uh, the blame was gone to a woman. Right. And we don't blame women. Allah said they're both done out of forgetfulness. That's not what I said though, right? No, it's... What no, I said is no, that no, she actually No, you understood. didn't say that. But yeah. I am quoting from the Bible, right. so you can check it out. Okay. He was yes, <laughs> yes. And now, now the, the 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 faith has been derived based on that story. It's important. Why? Mm. Because faith has been derived because original sin has been formulated based on that story. 
Right. And we do not say apple is the knowledge because right. God is the source of knowledge. Right. Apple is the creation of God. God wanted to test people through right. this object right. or what, whatever means. So there are many corrections in this story. If you last, I mean, if you look at it in a belief point of view, whatever you've been preached, then you can see in one angle. But what I'm saying, God has given you intellect. Why don't you rationally see, look, do you think a baby is a sinner just because what our, uh, you know, uh, father, Adam, committed that error? Do you want to hear the difference of what? No. Would you, would you, would you now? Because the faith has been derived that every children is a sinner right. because of that. Uh, the mistake that made by Adam and Eve, right? Based okay. on the Christianity. Okay. But we don't believe that every child is a sinner, by the way, in Islam. We believe every children is sinless. And look, do you know when, what is sin? I believe the same. I believe the same. Yeah. So if you believe the same, right? I then, believe the same because that was the teaching I was taught. All right. Now, you believe Jesus was died for your sin? I'll put it to you this way, okay? Your context and maybe your understanding of sin is different to my context. And my What's your different of sin? My my knowledge of God, okay, is that God is life, pure life, okay. Sorry, like or light, light, okay, light. Mm -hmm. Now, when we were cut off from God, uh -huh. we physically could not be in the presence of God. Hence, sin. Okay, we are in a we are in a state of dirtiness. We are imperfect, and we cannot be in the presence of God. Therefore, we need something to enable us to physically be in the presence of God once again. And so, the way that we look at sin is a little bit too literal. We we take it a little bit too literally, and this is what time has done to man. You could not. Abraham, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay. That would be the case if there is no rational faculty within us. We know what is good and bad. Right. We know what is sin and what is good. Right. So instead of now, if someone, now you have that factor of doing good within yourself and factor of sinning. Right. Now instead of sinning, you applying the goodness within you. Right. That means you can either choose to sin or you can either choose to do good. Right. So it is within your capacity. Right. That shows that you are ready for a test. Yeah. Yes, that shows. I agree. Right. But... Now, imagine yeah. imagine why you are good. Because yeah. you want to apply the goodness within you, whatever the, the, the factor God has given you within you, the goodness. You don't like to choose the path of sin. Yeah. So the sin is something when we commit, when we have full consciousness. Right. Sin, now, a baby cannot do sin. Why? Baby does not have the full consciousness developed. Baby, right no, now. I th agree. Therefore, therefore, I consciousness is something developed over the time, and that's why if you look at chapter sixteen, verse seventy-eight, yeah, yeah, Allah said that I have extracted you from the wombs of your mother while you know nothing. Then I placed you hearing, vision, and sight, so that you can be grateful. Right? right. Why Allah is talking about that? Allah is reminding us that look, that you, I have given you those faculty to apply it. So now, with in sin or in goodness in both cases ap application application of our ourself is important thing now if we chose to do sin instead of doing good i am a sinner because i'm doing con within full conscious mind can i ask you a question sure your, yes. your mother still alive i saw my mother love yeah okay now when you were five okay mm. you saw this glass mm. and you had your shoes on your, your mind would have told you, I want to run on that grass because mm -hmm. it looks fun. Mm -hmm. It looks wet. I want to jump in the puddles. I want to get my pants dirty. Mm. Then your mother comes along and says, son, don't jump in that mud. Don't do it. Yeah. Now, the natural person, the natural child in you says, no, I need to. I want to jump in that mud. But now your mother has just dictated the fact that that is now a sin. That is not something you should do. Okay, hmm. but you do it anyway. Oh, I think I think the definition of sin probably you misunderstood. Sin is something committed against God, right? Right. Right. Now the issue with the five-year-old, five-year-old, 
does not develop that consciousness of choosing good to bad. Ignore, ignore the, the age and ignore the no, it's, story. It's important. It's important. Right. Le now, because it's important, because I cannot apply the same test to you. Right. Because you already developed the consciousness. Right. That's the significant difference. Who, the point of the story. Do, do you see my... Do you yeah, see? but the point of the story is mm. to say that we sometimes are the founders of our own consciousness, okay? And I would argue that Islam is the same. I definitely, I can speak for Christianity is the same, is that there are, there are practices that we are told are sins, okay? No, look, let, let, me, let, me, be, uh, let me clarify the matter. Okay. We are designed to do good and sin both of them. Right. We have both elements. Right. Why both elements? So that Allah can test you. That's why in Islam, Allah is saying, I'm test you. So now, I, I agree with okay, that. So okay, right. I agree with that. Now, how can we go, how can you attain salvation is, so God has given these two, good and bad, sinning, right? Yeah. So if you, instead of doing sin, if you do goodness, this what God is encouraging the Quran, do not do the immoral hey, activities. Assalamu alaikum. So I left you. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of doing sin, if you do the goodness, you will can reach to the God. Right. Right. This is how the salvation works. And that is a fair justice because if someone do bad let's say let's put an example yeah. let's someone who doesn't believe in god who killed millions of people that's one side and another side there's one guy who believe who worship god and he give a lot of charity in his life he have a lot of people do you think god will put both of them in one place or they both will be treated differently what would be your i think that God will test them within their capacity. Correct. Absolutely, number one. But yeah. do you think the end destination of both of them will be the same? Um, I mean, I mean. I'm going to say. I'm going to say this because I don't believe in the literal heaven and hell story. Okay, like I believe that God is love, right? And I believe that God sees the capacity of a person. Now, occasionally, there's a bad fruit in that bunch, right? Is a bad fruit, and you need to take that bad fruit out. Mm -hmm. But amongst that, you got some okay fruit. You got some mis, you got some like odd shaped fruit. Mm -hmm. You got some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know okay. what I mean? I, I, I know. And, mean. and for me, it's like, well, God loves the mis, mis shaped fruit. He created it. God loves the odd colored fruit. He created it. So. Does he have a plan for hmm. those people? I think Abraham, I, I see your point. I see your point. And let me let me uh, answer to you before I forget. For firstly, God is not just love. Yeah. Love justice. is no justice, fairness, mercy. Hmm. So justice means a criminal should be punished, and the one who deserves good, he should be rewarded. Right. That's why in Islam we have heaven and hell. Right. Heaven is for good people, and hell is for bad people. Simple is that. Uh, Otherwise, you cannot say, okay, we believe like that in this world. Right. We believe that concept in our day-to-day -day life. Right. If, you work, if you work in your office, you get rewarded by the salaries. Look, look, this is how we, we, we human function in our day-to-day -day life. So it's not an alien concept. Sure. The concept is ingrained within ourselves. This is how we act. Like, for example, when a footballer trained... He trained for a reward to get a chance, being promoted, get fame, get money, right? This is how human being was designed. The same way Allah is telling us, this life, you will have this full consciousness and you will be tested. Tested by when God is given command to see whether you are obedient. If you are disobedient and the one is obedient, they are not same. Just the way good and bad are not same. The same way God will test everyone. And in the day of judgment, we'll make accountable the one who do good. Can I, can yeah, can I ask sure. a question? I mean, this, this, this is fair. This, this is a genuine question. Yeah, sure. The yeah. genuine question is, God has put us here, yeah. right? Yeah. you agree on that? That's, that's his will. That's his will. Where did we come from? So, so where were we before this? So, basically, we the, our soul has been created. Our by soul by, In the heaven. By who? By Allah, the created. So you're telling me that Allah created some good and some bad? No, Allah created the soul. Okay, but that's what I'm, I'm asking. No, you. Allah didn't create the good and bad. What Allah created is to give you choice. Yeah. He given you free will. Right. There is a difference between bad and a free will. Right. When Allah is giving you this option so that you can 
be tested. This is his will. He, he would like to test you. This is his will. He wanted to test you. Now, God cannot test you unless he give you free will. Right. Because if you always obedient, there is no need to test you. Right. That's why angel cannot be tested. Yeah. Do, this is my point. Yeah. Uh, so therefore, yeah. the initial plan of God was to test us and test by sending you in this earth and then he will send you messenger and to see whether you pass the test. When the messenger come to tell you, there is only one God, worship him. And you know he is the true messenger. And then if you reject him, that is means you fail the test if you don't follow him. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, in the Ahlul Kitab, those who hear about me and they does not follow me and follow my message, he said, the warning, meaning the punishment of the hellfire. But he said, be careful. He is a witness for mankind. Allah said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَّةً لِلنَّاسِ Prophet Muhammad is a witness for mankind. And in other places, Allah mentioned, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ I have not sent Prophet Muhammad until and unless as a mercy for mankind. So look, whenever you look at the Quran. Can I, can you, I jump back? Yeah, sure, sure. So, I mean, Muhammad is a prophet. Yeah? Yes. Jesus is a prophet. Yeah. So, why? I, I just, I'm curious why Muhammad gets a lot more airtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Than Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. In the time of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ got the airtime, not anyone else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, right? That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. So now, Prophet Muhammad, Jesus Christ was left. Okay. Now, the same message brought by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam again. He so the message... He got a pretty short Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> so, so the message of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yeah. is not different from the Jesus Christ message. Right. Jesus Christ asked people to worship God alone. Do not make any partner. Do not. He didn't tell people to worship him right. or his mother or anybody else right. beside God. And that's the same concept I was discussing with you that Abraham, Abraham was someone who was devoted to God, someone who was telling, he's condemning his own father for worshipping a statue. Right. So any object you worship beside God is the gravest sin in the, in the planet. Right. And that's what Allah clearly, constantly condemning. Right. Who is your Lord? Right. Me? Or the statue, or the store, or the man you are worshiping. Right. So Allah is condemning everyone. Right. Like when in the, in the time of Arabia, when Prophet Muhammad was sent, the pagan used to say the angels are daughter of God. Right. The Christian said Jesus is son of God. Right. And some Jews they say Uzair is the son of God. Right. And Allah said I don't have a son, neither I have a father. Right. Allah refuted everybody. He said I am unlike, unlike the creation. Right. How can I have a son when I have no wife? Right. These are the things depend on the creation because it's God, man, he can do anything. No, God can <laughs> look, Abraham. I agree with you, he but can, he can give two. But I'm, I'm going to give you new, new, and that's enough to make them nah, sinners. <laughs> God can do anything. I agree with oh, you, yeah, yeah. but God will not do everything. Yeah, God I will agree. do things that befit Him. Meaning, can God become not God? It doesn't know exactly. So that means exactly. That means God will not not do everything. God will do that they, that befits him, right. meaning with godly nature. Right. So he cannot say, Oh, I am perfect. Now suddenly he becomes imperfect. No, it doesn't suit with his majesty. Right. Anyway, that's that's my uh you know, I know you're in rush, you are telling Oh, it's only because my partner's Ah, right. okay, okay. I'm so, not in rush. Okay, okay, I'm so. enjoying the conversation. Right. 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 Now, I appreciate Abraham your time and uh, I I hope you know your answer getting clarified, you know. Like I, I no, I've always respected Islam. I've always no, no. I, 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 you, you know, you're a, a really nice person, honestly, and I'm engaging with the conversation and yeah, I'm yeah. enjoying the conversation. I'm no, listening to you. So am I. And I mean, put it this way: like me as a believer of Christianity, mm. the closest thing, without being a Christian, in my honest opinion, is to be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. That's the closest thing. Uh -huh. Well, if I was talking to a, a friend who was atheist, uh -huh. I can't relate. No, no. Right? no, Abraham, I think <laughs> it is the time to look into Islam. Look, if yeah. you really follow Jesus Christ, and we have talked through the different topics, yeah. and you see the message go on in line with your rational reasoning that God has built up on you. Yeah. So sometimes I don't we use have been, reasoning and I don't no, use it, rationale because no, I, I know rational fa no, it fails no. you. No, do you know why rational fails you? Because of the belief system that has been forced you to believe. 
in Islam, Allah tells us to apply your rational reasoning. Because if you apply your rational reasoning, you will find the true concept of God. Because if you put three in one, you will never be able to comprehend with your rational reasoning. That's why he's saying you have to believe in the mystery. Right. But belief is not a mystery. Right. Belief is something conceivable. Right. The same creator, he created you mindset with aql, with, with reasoning. Right. Do you think the same uh, God will present you a belief that will be mystery? No, it's contradictory. Right. That's why, why did Abraham reason with his father? This is important. Do you know why it's important? Why did Abraham say to his father, why do you worship this statue that it cannot even help himself? Why he is bringing this argument? So that it can demonstrate to you, uh, to the Abraham's father, that the statue and the stone will never be able to assist you. Right. Right. But the God of the heavens and the earth who can really assist you. Right. So that Abraham demonstrated, we need to apply the rational faculties within ourselves. Right. And that is the same message brought by all of the messenger, because all of the messengers speak to the mind of the people, right. asking, the things are you worshipping, did this create the whole universe or did it create itself? The things you are worshipping, it's already created by someone else. How can you worship something already created by someone? I mean, something I've always been taught growing up is lean up and to yeah, no, understand. Exactly. Right? But, and that's because my own understanding is, is temporal and it's uh, often controlled by my emotions. Yeah. It's often controlled by my desires. Yeah. And I feel like that process fails you because what I want today, I don't know if that's what God wants or if that's what I want. Mm. Right? And I'm using my rationale. Absolutely. Now, I'm trying so, to figure it out. Now, if, but, you, if you apply your rationality, yeah. you will come to first things first thing we should rationalize who the real God is. Right. Then you will come to a conclusion the real God is only one. Not three in one. Not Trinity. Do you see? Because yeah. the moment you apply, you can't say, oh, in your my rationality, can Jesus Christ be co-equal to the Father? In which essence? In no way or shape or form he can be co-equal to the Father. Well, Do you well, see? Yeah, no, I, I agree with you yeah, 100%. Yeah. Exactly. And this is why we, I mean, as a... It's important as uh, a you're asking the right question. Yeah, as a Christian, yeah. I was always taught, glory to be thee. And to, mm -hmm. Glory to thee, which is the Father, right? Yeah. The way we see Christ and the Holy Ghost is, when you say one, we're saying one in purpose, right? Mm. And that is, the purpose is to return to God, the mm. Father. Yeah. To return. Yeah. And it's all leading to that one direction yeah. that is that is the ultimate and divine purpose of that yeah so yeah, i mean this and I'm, I'm look i'm saying this from a i'm saying this from a perspective of i i even question my own beliefs you get what i mean but i think it's the beauty of the life that we live in that we have the ability yeah, you can ask the question to reason absolutely and to ask and to, to learn and uh, that's just where i'm at you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you are honest about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You are honest about it. And as a Muslim, I don't have to hide my faith. Yeah. Unless, as a brother in humanity, we can discuss these things. And look, like I shared, that engage your rational faculties that God has given you. Don't belittle this. This is the greatest grip from Allah, the Creator. Do you know why? Because it is so important that everything you do, by the, the fact that you wear the jacket, that rationality told you that it's too cold. <laughs> yeah. But the same thing, do you think God doesn't want you to apply it? That's why Islam and the Quran constantly urging people to think, reflect, ponder. So today, my partner and I, we went to Westminster Abbey. Sure. I'll tell you this now. I would, I would sooner walk into a mosque mm. And feel some form of spirit than I would to go into a place like the Westminster Abbey and feel any spirit, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, uh -huh. It's foreign to me. So beautiful there. Yeah? yeah, the Westminster so Abbey is just as foreign to me as a spiritual place. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's a beautiful building. Yeah, it's hustle and bustle, isn't it? But uh -huh. other than that, now you see the you see the picture uh -huh. of the uh, the Last Supper, and you see Christ and his apostles, uh -huh. and you see this gold chalice where they take the the wine. We got, uh, where Christ says, this is the blood, drink in remembrance of me, this is the bread, eat in remembrance of me. Mm. And it's gold. I'm like, 
Then there's just no way that Christ yeah. was using a gold chalice. No, no, no. Look, <laughs> Christ that's, was. That, that's why. That's why in Islam we. And it's just too disconnected well, for me. You well, know what yes, I mean? exactly. We don't no. believe God allowed His holy messenger yeah. to teach people something not appropriate. For example, when Je Prophet and uh, Messenger was sent, they are always, always protected from major mistakes. Right. Like for example, the in the story in the Genesis, right, where the story of Lot, where he is having intercourse with his own daughters, right, in two successive nights, right, with the elder and the younger daughter, right, right. and we don't believe this is uh, that Lot has done it because yeah. do you know why? Right. God would not chose an a, a someone who who commits incest as a messenger of God, so he he would rather chose. And this is the way of God. God always chose the best amongst us. Right. And their character is upright. How can you follow a messenger who is committing incest? Do okay. you see? So the, 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 the real problem is, the real problem is, the Bible has some truth in it. But <coughs> there are also falsehood in it. Right. So the scripture cast, I agree with that. Yeah, mix. Right. So therefore, therefore, it is necessary for us to have a clear injunction from God. Right. clarify what is the actual message of God right and Quran sorry Quran has a name of the Quran is called Muhaymin and Ali meaning uh, it's a, a quality control right. meaning it tells us how to judge the previous books right now we find verses Allah talks about there is only one God worship the same God yeah. now the passage we find in the Old Testament in line with this we say now this is from God Right. Because that this is echoing Quran. Why Quran is revealed so that Allah can do justice to all mankind. Right. It is a right on us that we should receive guidance from God. Yeah, and that's why a Quran. And that's why you know I would like to Abraham wanted to give it to you as a copy. <coughs> These two books. Yeah, it. yeah. Do you wanna put it on your pocket? Actually, you know. I have a Quran, but yeah. Take as a gift from us. Thank you, brother. Anyway. What was your name? Aziz. Aziz. Nice to meet you, Abraham. Ibrahim. <laughs> Ibra 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 you know, you had a Muslim name then, Abraham. Abraham Ibrahim. But, you know, think about the discussion we we, 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 we discussed you today. You also, brother. Yeah, yeah. And look, and? like I said, think about the rational faculties. Don't belittle it. Apply it. And I believe Allah will guide you to some. You have a... You have a beautiful soul. I can see that. You know, you're, you're smiling. You're enjoying. You know, you know and I, I wish you all from? the best. <laughs> I, 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 you I wish you all the best. Where I got that from? Yeah, that's from Allah. You know, we all believe that's yes, from yes. God, right? And we should be thankful. Anyway, it was a pleasure it talking to you. To you too, brother. Look after yourself. Yeah. You too. Brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look after yourself. That's good, man. I enjoyed and, that. And, yeah, and I enjoyed that too. I was and just trying to take photos, man. I don't know. <laughs> we'll take yourself selfie there. All right. Uh, I, was, I mean, I was just trying to take photos. Look after yourself. Thank and you, thank you. Please make dua for uh, this brother Abram. I had a beautiful conversation with him. Um, so a lot of the things he agreed, and the uh, guidance is belongs to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So let's make dua for him. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.